nice for fishing, especially with my son. My boy loves fishing, but if I go bait fishing with him, and we don't get a bite in three minutes, he'll say, Dad, I'm bored, I want to go home. I said, you've got to be kidding, we've been here for three minutes. He's 35. So if you get him to sit there for six hours looking at a rod tip, it's never going to happen. Now, I've got fish in the back corner. My, I can see them up here, no problem, with all that glare, because I've got polarised sunglasses. If you haven't got polarised sunglasses, do yourself a favour, get some. If you want ones that float with an amazing lens, it's those. Here, follow the tip. There, right there. Amazing lenses. Slow drop, just maybe, and I don't have any hooks there. One of those performing fish would say that's an easy meal, it should taste good, it's bait, and it's worked on through. Now, I'm very, very slow in trade. I'm going to touch it, let it sit. Don't have to work it difficult. And if they're active, I can't believe I haven't got a touch on that because that's physically bait. That's not what you're going to do, can they? It's worked on through. Nice action. Certainly got a potential. Now you're saying, wow, you got a bite. Of course you're going to get a bite. I'm using bait. Well, it's amazing. You say, where do I buy it? Every table store in Australia. You're saying, you said to me, it's a lure that'll take fish, or bigger fish, cod, yellow belly, bass, barramundi, flathead. It's great little lure. Now you can actually work the top of the water with that vibration flash. Really nice action. You can work through the bottom of the water, in other words, down towards the bottom. You just sort of work it like this. So lift and glide back in. So anything that eats a bait fish this big in fresh or salt water, you have half a chance. And again, it's got a really nice action. A lot of times, if the fish won't bite, and you don't like that, because I don't, you can actually annoy the fish. So let's just say we're at the Sow and Pigs in Sydney Harbour, and you've got, say, Kingies or Taylor or Flathead or Mulloway, annoy them annoy the fish. It's simple. Just lift it up and drop it down. If they don't like it, they'll move. Either way, you've really got nothing to lose. And just sometimes, you can actually stir those fish up enough, they'll either nail it or they'll move. It's pretty simple stuff. Annoy the fish. It's good fun. For 20 bucks, we'll throw in a segmented hard body lure in the bag. A pack of three rig soft plastics in the bag. Fishing magazine in the bag. And three DVDs in a box set. Nearly five hours viewing. Fresh and salt water. $49.95 in the bag, 20 bucks. I think it's pretty good value. If you'd like the bag, downstairs. If you'd like it, with a rod and reel combo, two piece. The little rod and reel down there, we've got them starting at $10. This one here is 20. And if you buy it with a bag, 35 bucks. I think it's pretty good value. You're enough there to go fishing straight away on the way home. If you'd like the bag, 20 bucks. If you don't want to carry the bag, we'll sell out the stuff we've got in there. I'll tell you, probably. You don't have to buy it, well, you can buy it now. Mate, it's better money. Fish trips are $30 for the small, $35 for the large. And again, it's work on a cam system. If you drop them in the water, they'll float back up. I use that size there. I've got a kayak, canoe, I've got them in my backpack. If I'm out in the boat, I usually use the big ones because they're easy to find when I'm in the boat. They float? I want to be able to see yeah. them. Yeah, that's nice. Thank you. Oh, man.